Oh, uh, that was actually against. I'm thinking of Cloud9. It was a Mirage. Yeah. It's Aspen. MOG Aspen, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. It might be that one. Yeah. Um, but yes. Yeah, they, they showed strategy and tactics and so on. But we are into the pistol indeed. So, guys, Team Liquid versus Affinity here for the first semi final of today for the HTC Reborn Invitational. Now we have someone pushed up Catwalk here. We've got a quick push from Jason. Jason up. Jason R. He's going to go down straight away to Nitro. So CT is losing a player early on. This is not going to be good for them. The rotation towards A here as well. So they're kind of going for the gamble. Expecting the play to definitely arrive towards A. I'm not sure if they have all the information, but here comes Liquid all together, almost, up long. They've got a Lurker, Flosick, over by Upper Dark. He's going to pick up a kill as well. So this is looking terrible right now for Affinity. The Leech will take another frag, and they are going to clean the bomb side out. Davey with a single kill, but it's just Arya left now. He's going to... A nice headshot, but one on three, gonna take, get taken down, and that looks a little bit too easy for Liquid yeah, there. Yeah, really ballsy play there by, I think it was Dave or Jason who pushed up middle from Jason, short right yeah. away. Yeah. It's uh, really, I, I, I think they had like a thing planned where it was gonna go aggressive, and there was one guy in mid standing with a pre, uh, pre primed nade, just trying to throw it up there when the he made contact, but yeah, it's way too ballsy play on the pistol. Alright, um. We'll have to see whether or not the double scouts can actually make it work. Because double scouts, pretty good actually. Pretty damn good. If you can get a couple tags off, the 5.7s already dangerous, become very, very scary. So Liquid just keeping it slow. And again, they've got... So do they have a player pushed up Catwalk again? I think they do. I think it's Fox this time. He's just uh, sitting up there. And uh, looking for those close range engagements. Uh, you can see... He could really come out with some huge frags here. They won't expect this. Oh, we can't connect with a single headshot. That was the perfect range for the, the one-shot kill as well. And Liquid start to clean up as they move towards the catwalk area. Oh, nice shot there from Arya. Gets the headshot onto Alish. And so they have four players left now. Liquid moving into this push onto the A side. Great grenade there. We'll get them the bomb down. But uh, Jason and Abe still left over. Might want to save these, these guns at this point. Yeah, it's not good that they have one game all, the all alone. They can easily steal that gun. Yeah, we've got Abe there looking for the frag as well. Flosik is so weak that a lot of them are really low here, but they might not know that, of course, because in competitive settings you don't get to see how how much you tag people for. But uh, they are going to back away. No kit, so no chance. And uh, the grid should keep three weapons alive here. But Abe has this AK. If he can keep this into the next round, that's going to be super sweet. He even has Kevlar as well. Yeah, and he can drop the 5.7 to a teammate as well. So, decent eco here for Affinity. It's a really weird decision there by Liquid. They, they took long and they had the pit as well. And what you usually see teams do is to just push long because there's no good position. You can stand on A with either scouts or pistols. But they decided to go back short and uh, it was a really close round because of that. Okay, so... Affinity now looking at uh, just a straight up save. As you, you can, we can see that the 5.7 was indeed dropped to a teammate. I guess it would be Fox then, who has the 5.7. And again, he's going to be pushing Catwalk, and he's going to get nailed by a leash. In comes a Dren for the long push as well. So Liquid uh, cleaning up. We've got the no stack in mid. Abe looking for a, a kill with that AK. It's kind of nice actually to go for this, but usually you only see. Uh, well, I guess Liquid basically doing the same round again. It just looks identical. They're kind of anti eco here. Looking quite good for them. Why does Flosic go dark alone with an AK and an Antico? He should just go fall back to his teammates there because they can easily steal that weapon. As to say, both the AKs is basically from the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah. He's, uh, he's proven quite. Qu he's, he's been paid off. He's paid <laughs> yeah. off by by Affinity. But yeah, you're right. It's it's one of those situations where what is the plan here? Is the plan to not have any damage done to you, it's like try to limit the damage done to your your team and uh, what the opponents can get together. Then if, if so, you would expect, well, we don't need to, you don't need to go for kills. That's not a priority, but the lurk is about killing rotation for retakes. And uh, yeah, I guess it makes sense uh, after the pistol because the seat is usually forced by, but yeah. the third round when you know they're on a full eco, doesn't make sense because then you want to just play it safe and try to keep all your guns and Kevlar. Okay, we've got the full, full AKs here for Liquid. Full nades as well. Just uh, one molly though. And we have all the armor and then force for Affinity. Good, decent amount of nades considering. But Lee's with a nice pick straight away through the smoke. Very easy spot to uh, kind of pre fire there. And Jason's going to go for the refrag. He will get it onto a drain. In comes Alish with the, the trade. And it's going to be Fox who will 
Take down Alija as well. So trades and trades, but it will be a three on three, which does favor Liquid. Oh, Ari's going to spot the cat play. Gets the spray. Oh, doesn't continue. There it is. Does find Flosik. And Nitro and Fugly are going to make their way to the side. So two on three is still not too bad here for Liquid. Yeah, and they all have a gap long as well. It's going to be really hard for Liquid. Going to need to see some big plays from them. Oh, yeah. It's going to be in a one-on-one -on -one against Nitro. Potentially, there it is. Goes for the jump, and Nitro capitalizes. So Nitro could potentially save this round for Liquid. Oh, that's a great smoke going in there, but Abe's going to flash straight through Nitro. Oh, he's looking into the smoke. They both get taken down by Abe. Wonderful play, and it will be the defuse. Decent damage done to the CT side, but uh, do you feel like uh, Liquid could have had a better result there? Yeah, I, I think they might have, but they still got those three important kills, which means if they win this round, it's... It's going to be 5-1 to one to Team Liquid, so a lot of pressure on Affinity right now. Okay, so will we see an AWP come out to a Dren? He, we, you know, we've noted in the past that he's been trying to, you know, he does buy ops at pretty much every available opportunity, especially on the CT side. We're going to see him go for the AK, and that's kind of actually important because we see actually a lack of grenades from Liquid. And he was one of the players with the most money, so that, that does allow him to get all the nades. And we have a very, very normal setup here for Liquid. And look at Affinity, they're just playing the A site really defensively, just leaving one guy at car. Oh, Arya in the smoke. Arya's gonna come in from behind. Oh my god, what is going on right now? Arya finally finds the spray. Very strange stuff there. Kind of crazy position also forwards. They did not expect that either. But the trade is definitely, again, want, you know, going to favor Liquid a little bit here. As Lee's just like, what is going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> that was <Yeah>. awkward. <laughs> Alright, 3 to 1 is the score at the moment. and. Did Arya actually try to push through the door alone? Yeah. With a I don't know if there was even a pop flash for him. That's really a lot of balls to play from Affinity this game. Yeah. But also, I think Alicia just ran through the smoke in mid. Yeah. And Affinity really need to stack a site now. They can't afford to lose these guns. Just stack a site, pray that they go there. If they don't, just save the weapons. Because if they lose this, this is going to be terrible for their economy. I, I kind of like that suggestion from the perspective that you're thinking ahead insofar as you're not also expecting that one guy's going to make a crazy like cr a crazy individual play. You're not banking on the crazy individual play, but more so on something good. And we can see that ha the lack of uh, having enough bodies on, on uh, the A bomb site area, long specifically, gave a free frag here to Liquid. They're going to get the bomb planted and everything. So Affinity looking like they really need to weigh up their options at the moment. They should save. They really should save. They're going to try to make it happen though with some good individual play. We've got Jason R going to go up there alone. Picks up the first kill. Trying to just re-entry here. Back into the A-bomb site. Getting some tags. And actually that Molotov is going to be fantastic. He gets the frag on the flow stick as well. They are doing a lot of damage. Two on two now. Still, Liquid can make this happen this defense. Just up to one man. Adren. And they have the smoke. I think they got this now. Oh, he's going to try to get the angle. Oh, wow. Abe. Nice. Very, very fast frag. So, Affinity will win that retake situation. Yeah, they shouldn't have won that. It's great play, though, from Jason, but... Yeah, still. I really like that they saved the smoke for the retake. Special Dust 2, it's so yeah. crucial. Oh, there was a team, um, I think it may have been NXL from Southeast Asia, that they, they would do that. They would save a lot of grenades specifically for the uh, either the post plant or for retakes. So like they would actually play in that way where they would be able to set, do set smokes for the post or for the retake. It was actually very cool um, coming out from Southeast Asia. So props to them. Um, but uh, Liquid and Affinity getting closer and closer right now. And Liquid's uh, looking like they might be getting, uh, well, Affinity might be uh, drawing with them soon because they are on the Tech 9s, Beagle on Fugly, couple grenades on the Dren. That's pretty much it. And they're looking like they want to funnel through this choke point. I think Ari would be very happy with this. Staring down the barrel with his gun it, through the scope into those frags. There's the first one. Try not to get tagged here. Actually missing some shots. This is getting a little bit awkward, but he does have support. And they're only going to get one frag. So that's a good round for Affinity. Going to make the money. And uh, Liquids now can buy once again. Yeah, that's what you need to see on this map. You need one round where you either win flawlessly or only lose one player. So you can stabilize the economy and uh, hopefully get to that double up setup eventually. They only have one now, but uh, I think it's fine for them. Okay, so we'll have Arya looking over the smoke here in mid to see if he can get a pick opportunity. So, not going to actually happen. We have a long take coming in from Liquid instead. They got all the maids here. Affinity look like they want to fight though. They got three players there. We're kind of lining up, lining up for Adren. He was just pre-firing through the smoke. 
spraying through that smoke and it's going to pay off for him. Now the CTs will uh, re-smoke this situation, but one for one is, uh, once again, puts Liquid in a, in a better position. Yeah, let's see how they try to abuse the situation. Usually you want just to split A when you're in a 4v4. And we can see why we just have, I mean, easy to get those uh, two on ones, potentially, or three on ones. As uh, Affinity are forced to split a player onto long and onto the bomb side itself. Looks like they might be going for this, potentially. They are moving their dark player back into, uh, into mid. They might want to set him up for the lurk, potentially. And even hit the site with three. And there are two guys playing deep now on B for Affinity. They really need to rotate back. It's hard for them, they don't have any intel, but they have to make a choice. Okay, we're gonna have Fox there in the Guardian spot, actually, it looks like. Indeed. <laughs> and uh, he's gonna be looking for those shots. He's gonna be actually able to take down one kill, but that might not be good enough here. We get Liquid coming in with more and more frags. However, nice shot there from Abe. He's gonna actually even things up, but the bomb will be planted. 2 on 2 Zarya, and it come in. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the incendiary. They're committing to getting that bomb down, and that is gonna cost him his life. But at least Fugly has that bomb ticking away in that one on two. He's no stranger to winning one on twos. Definitely uh, when he was abroad, he was delivering for Liquid in these spots. But this time, Ari's going to get that running. Sh well, almost looked like he was running all the way there. But good, good shot. And it's going to be another round for Affinity. Liquid did get the bomb down, though. So they will have uh, extra cash to play with. Yeah, Liquid making all the good decisions, getting good trades one for one in the beginning of the round, then making good decisions, just going four people short, trying to trade effectively. The thing is, they just keep losing these after plants, even when they have an advantageous position. They, um, I don't know really what's going on. Yeah, so we'll have to see if they can remedy the situation. That's uh a few players in the dark there, spreading them out towards mid. Again, you'd expect that cat take, but we have a lot of presence here. Fox going to make his way down. Finally, they'll actually get a kill from that, but the trades are coming in in force here. Elish and Fugly picking off a player each, and usually we're seeing the one for one, and that was favorable, but this is really hard for Affinity here. Ari's going to get a quick kill, but Davey pushing out there, looking to catch them off guard. It's going to go down as well, so Liquid still hold on to that one-man advantage. And uh, two players here for Affinity looking to find a way back into this round. Abe knows that A is completely open at the moment. I think steps were heard by his uh, teammate Aria over by CT. So looking for that retake now. It's going to be really hard though. Or, to be honest, I don't know should, if they should even go for this at this point. Then it's twice in a row though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It is true. A going to make his way and finds the player on Fuse. Gonna be a nice shot there by Aria, but he's still got a player in pit. Gonna try to go for the jumping shenanigans. Oh dear. Here we go. I'm so afraid. <laughs> I'm so afraid <laughs> we're gonna see the jump off actually connect. But Flowsick ends the shenanigans. Aria goes down and uh, Affinity gonna lose a round here. Very important one for Liquid, as we can see from their money. They are not looking very good either. Yeah, Affinity is actually gonna eco. I think it's a good decision. Special dust too when you really need that all. Okay, so four to four the score. It's been pretty close so far. As you said, it, it does seem like Liquid they've been taking early round advantages, but they've been they've not been successful to actually close in those rounds. So you got you got to imagine that eventually uh, Affinity won't be able to keep up. Eventually, they won't be able to keep delivering these plays. We are going to see in the Santi Eco situation. They're doing pretty well at the moment, picking up two kills, dispatching the aggression of those pistols. Yeah, just very standard uh, standard anti eco here from Liquid. Playing it super safe. Okay, we got close it with a kill on Abe there. And uh, there's one, a couple more left. And uh, there's not really much they can do here. What kind of uh, plays do you think would have been... It was, what, what, is the, what are the most important objectives when you're in, in a Affinity spot? When you're in a... At the Affinity spot in this round. They got f like five P250s, for example, no Kevlar. Yeah, you just want to go for the stack. The annoying thing on Dust 2 is they can just peek the middle and just count how many people you jump past. So you like basically have to invest in a smoke as well. So I don't know, maybe just boost, put two people short, try to go for a like crazy mid push or something, just to get at least two kills. Yeah, I, I've seen uh, sometimes like a, a pop flash setup like work okay. Like if you get lucky and they push short and you got two guys there with pop flash setups, sometimes you can get something sneaky. But again, you're adding investment all the time, and so it's it's kind of you gotta be careful with that. But we have the uh, 
Did Abe's actually have an M4 last round? Did he just buy up? He just, he just spent all his money. But the rest of the team didn't, so this must be a mistake from Did his part. Yeah, yeah, definitely a mistake. This has to so be a mistake. There is no... It happens though, like, yeah, some people just look at their money and like, Oh, I have a lot of money, I guess, <laughs> my teammate. That's a lot of money as well, just instantly buy. We actually see uh, an interesting variation here of, C of the CT setup as well. Looks like they're going to pop Flash Leisure into an entry. Those who have to come back to that point. But they have a comp long is completely open. They do have players towards uh, CT, but at the moment, Affinity not with uh, much control in this round. They should just stack. Yeah, they're going for the B stack and just save because there's no point in spreading out. With First of all, they're uh, like a man down and they have only pistols. Okay, I, Abe has one M4, but there's no way they're going to win if they split up. And it feels at this point they've got to protect the M4 and the, the, and the kit and everything that's bought by Abe. So pretty important to make sure that investment, that mistake is not compounded into, into just losing it straight out because it should at least survive here. But that's going to be incredibly hard because Liquid, once they get the bomb down, I don't know if they've seen the M4, but they're probably going to hunt it. I d I'm not sure what their money is like at the moment. So a quick check on the money. And I actually don't like that they even bought 5-7 in armor this, this round. I mean, CT does two is probably the hardest yeah. half to force by on, anyways. I mean, you can always buy that single P to 50 because as long as one of the players get one kill, it's worth the investment. But 5 7 armor, I, I don't think that was a good choice. It's, it's better to just save up. I mean, even if you stack money, it means you can like buy an extra round later in the half. Okay, so this, uh, this hunt is not looking actually like it might find the M4 in time. So Affinity might get away with this mistake. Instead of it being punished, all oh, they are moving in close now, though. But I don't know if there's time. Abe should uh, should be safe. He gets the kill as well. Oh, he's facing for another kill. Oh, he I was so scared there. I'm like, please stop facing. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <are> no, because <laughs> so many times you see that happen. It's like they're saving, but then the last minute, it's like, oh, I'm gonna yeah. draw three people now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's crazy. And uh, do you know how long uh, the time is? Ooh. Oh. Nice entry there, Bauria. Uh, after the round is over, I know with different tournaments use a different. I actually don't tournament. know what's, what it is specifically for this tournament. What is it? What's the most standard? <laughs> I actually don't know the standard, but I know like some people use the matchmaking one, which is longer. Ah, uh, okay. How long is the matchmaking one? <laughs> <laughs> you have it's, no idea. It's longer than the shorter one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, yeah. thanks, Threat. Quality yeah. analysis. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. All right, we got. Uh, Actually, a nice setup here. Are we already, of course, able to pick up a frag into the round? Actually, finding the shoulder of Nitro, which is kind of ridiculous. However, that's going to give them a nice advantage. He's going to actually get more damage through the doors, but it's going to be Fox who picks up the frag onto Fugly. So, Liquid kind of uh, looking for those open challenges on mid. And we got, we got a cat play in from Affinity as well. They've actually been favoring to put people on cat a lot in, in lieu of actually having any control on long, which is actually the opposite of the current meta, which is to have the standard round where you give up cat, but you have presence on long and crossover, and you have the third player, who could be cat, down to CT to watch for the B split, but Liquid, yeah. they're abusing it here. It's extremely difficult to trade wow. effectively on short. That was a shot and a half, and now they're going to go. Oh, Davey's going to go straight to Gandalf, so that's a Swedish call. Gandalf, I think. I learned that from, from Freya. It makes no sense, but it's going to be a nice entry into the side so far. But Davey actually picking up a frag that they know he's there. And there you go. Drone's going to pick up the kill. Going to have to make some more damage, though. Oh, he's singing the flames again. Oh, this is so so painful. But in comes Flosig. Pops straight out there, looks for the frag, and they will actually get the round here, Affinity. Another nice retake. Affinity have made so many retake victories. I'd, actually, if we, again, if we, if we uh, press tab real quick, we can see four retakes there. Four defuses. That's actually very significant because it feels in like a mult uh, in quite a few of those rounds. Liquid are very favoured. Yeah, especially on a map like Dust too. I mean, sure, it's not that hard to uh, retake the A bomb site, but most of those rounds, Liquid actually had one player up on them as well. <laughs> Look at the facing here. The very aggressive play in mid, and now we're going to see even more aggressive play. And Fox is going for the cap push <laughs> again. This is there's no respect here. Okay, Arya is is covering from. From uh, from mid, but still, really crazy play. Is it going to pay off? Let's go to Fox right now. See if he's going to be able to pick up some kills. He gets eliminated immediately, so it's going to be uh, an unfortunate situation. Big gamble, big big gamble, and it's not going to pay off. And it feels like for that gamble to actually take place, we already saw the AWP battle from Arya and Adren, where Arya actually basically had to force Adren away with the AWP. So that could have gone badly for them as well potentially. So 
Love, yeah. it, love invested that. I think he actually went aggressive because he heard all the nades over long because it just took long right away. And then he just knew, okay, they're probably gonna do that with four people, one guy going dark alone. Nobody's probably gonna be mid. And he was right, but uh, it didn't work out. Okay, so just Arya and Jason left. So if the bomb goes down this time, we would not expect Affinity to be able to save it. And it's gonna be pushed with the smoke. Now it's gone away. And just Nigel uh, just spraying <laughs> everything, the full spray around the corner. And uh, he will take down Jason R. Is Arya actually going to uh, try to go for this? It's actually smart to be in a, a position like this because you can already see that uh, Liquid have sent out the... They've dispatched the, the hunting dogs right now. They are... They should know, though, like, that he can... Oh, my God. Oh, wow. He's not going to get discovered oh, now. Oh, my God. No. How could he not check there? Seriously. Oh, no. How could he not check there? He can there? actually ninja it. No! Oh, no, he's going to win the round. Oh, he's going for it and everything. I don't believe it. No, this cannot happen. Oh, my God. How what could an he not check that corner? Seriously. <laughs> oh, my God. Affinity. It's not. Oh, he even gets a kill as well. Uh, there is no words for this. That's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> it's always fun to see an Ina Diffuse, but I've rarely seen an Ina Diffuse where it is like only based on a huge mistake by the opponents. Yeah, that's amazing. That is amazing. You never. I uh, have not you, seen you, you could see Liquid. They, they thought like, okay, you go long, I go short, so we like can like okay, he can't be anywhere because we're checking every corner. But then you ha have to actually check <laughs> every corner for that to work. So. Oh wow, that is amazing. I don't think I've seen an Ninja Diffuse this year. I, I, on, I don't think I've casted one that's happened like that. Not so as severe as that. That was impressive, but we're into the next round here. You can see Affinity as well. I mean, they lost all their players, but the state of their economy is they've been pushed to the limits here on their buy. They don't have an AWP. They have a Famas in there on Davy. So that was a very needed victory. And round upon round, Affinity have been able to steal away from Liquid. And they are looking to make it more. And how rattled are Liquid after that round? I guess we're going to have to find out now as the push is ready to come in. Or at least the pressure. They can always go back here. Oh, that's a great pick off there from Arya. As they try to get a refrag, it looks like. Oh, no, true. Just barely finding an angle, but backs away. And Liquid now going for a cat drop into the B split play. And Arya is coming around just at the perfect timing. He's going to spot the first play. Gets the spray down. The trade comes in. More players to follow, though. And it's Fox who picks up the kill and then gets smoked. And Abe comes in. Great team play. And Liquid are down to just Flowsick against four players of Affinity. And this might actually break their economy. I wasn't keeping full track of the money, but there's the round. And indeed, their economy is broken. Look at the defuses. It's crazy. They've got so many retakes to uh, be successful. Yeah, no, Affinity I, 7 now. I like the th thought behind what Liquid did. That you do the short uh, fake, and you just try to jump out down and spawn. Smoke off the guy that rotated from B. But... Um, yeah, you really need ma to make sure that you actually kill one guy off from B first because otherwise he can just stand there. He's on the rotate from B, so you're probably going to meet him in mid. And if you don't kill him, you should just fall back and do something else. And uh, they didn't, and yeah, they just got completely flashed there in mid. Yeah, and uh, Adren's actually going to... Oh, oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> nice one deep there. And Adren's picked up an AWP, I was going to say. And you know they've decided to go with this buy And I actually really like it when... Like one guy has loads of money and just buys an orb on a save and then kind of like a pistol save. I, I sometimes that's like that can just win you rounds. Sometimes if the orb goes in the right place at the right time, you never know. Good way to even up the money. And we might even see. Oh, we can see a boost over the smoke here. That would actually be really smart because that smoke didn't go really that, that deep enough. They can easily boost over it. Yeah, they're gonna go for it. Oh, missing the shot though. And that's oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness! What a team kill coming in. Adren a little bit afraid that uh, he wouldn't get a second opportunity. He had to go for the shot straight away. And I, th I was afraid as well that they were going to get all sprayed down after the missed shot by Adren initially. And Arya's probably going to go down here in dark, so this round should go to Liquid. But will Affinity keep up the trend of just, just nailing these retakes? Got a very awkward engagement. Very good use, actually, from Nitro, despite dying of the Tech 9, being able to drop in and out of cover like that. But we've got a... Oh, wow, they're going to make it happen with two players left alive. Once again, Affinity able to make the retakes work. And Nitro was in that annoying position when you're in upper dark and waiting for the retake. It was like, you want to help the people on B because you don't know if anybody's going dark. So it's like, is it coming or not? The bomb is starting to tick faster. And you're like, he got into that position. Okay, there's no way it's coming dark now. And just... If he would have waited like one more second, he like would probably won. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, so six to eight, and it feels like Affinity, they are generating some really cool momentum right now for the team. It's kind of that cheeky momentum where it's like, hey guys, we run a lot of rounds that maybe we shouldn't have. And uh, so everyone's like feeling pumped. And uh, when we have Arya looking for shots for the AWP. Decent nade there, actually. Gonna do a good chunk of damage. Arya once again just looking for those shots, just keeping the pressure on from mid, like letting them know there's an orb there. And oh wow, that is awesome from Adren. That's a nice kind of little hack through the smoke there. And uh, hey, you miss 100% of shots you don't take, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's a good little little spot to shoot at sometimes through that smoke. I'm sorry, I'm just still thinking about that. <laughs> no, <laughs> we got to move on. We have to move on. Everyone has to move on from that. <laughs> that was. That's just. It just gives more and more fuel for Dave's videos. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's gonna make so many it videos. Was, it was a one v five. Like you can, <laughs> you, you can leave one guy on the bomb, <laughs> just to be safe. Maybe like he managed to run on top of someone's head. Maybe he like found a new bag, which meant he could no clip. Just leave one guy at the bomb. <laughs> you don't need to hunt five people. Wow, though, that is a sick hold. Jason oh, goes massive with triple kill, gets both players from short, which was good enough, but he's going to drop multiple players from long, gets the 4K. Absolutely insane performance from Jason, and his aim is going to wrap around and take down Flowsick. Liquid, oh my goodness, everything's going wrong for them in this half. And just pure individual performance from Affinity that got them nine rounds yeah. to have. Those retakes, yeah, absolutely spot yeah. on. Those just individual plays, that's what they were banking on, and that's what that's what came out on top for them. And th I, th I feel like it's that cool thing uh, always as well, that concept where if you're playing against a team that you think is better than you, um, either for, for whatever, you know, if it's individual skill or, or you know, team play, whatever, you have to take risks all the time. And it feels like Affinity are playing that style. We saw loads of cat pushes where they're taking crazy huge risks. But you kind of need that start if you think the team is actually better than you. I yeah, think. yeah, I agree. It's uh, weird how Liquid play their standard though, because usually you see uh, a lot of teams just have one guy dropping down suicide, having an op covering him, trying to jump up on Xbox, covering the cat push, but uh, Liquid played uh, a bit more defensive. Okay, well, it's the pistol round. This, is, this could be the redeeming moment on Dust2 for Liquid. Of course, Affinity, this is their map choice, Dust2 as well. So doing pretty well at this point in time, doing it justice. Liquid, uh, they really need to start with a good economy. They really need to get the uh, AWPs rolling. And bomb will go down here, so this is going to be guaranteed pressure uh, in rounds, very uh, in the next couple rounds here from Affinity, even if they lose this. But they're in a 3 and 5, looking to take control of short. So, so far, Liquid, Liquid boys are fighting fairly well, but, but uh, actually the frags are being made here. Jason, once again, making a name for himself, but it will be the round there for Liquid. So good job to Liquid on the retake. And they'll have the kit as well to get the fast defuse. And they will get to start with a good economy. Now they just have to avoid any weird situations, like a forced by a rush with a Galil dropped, or like an AK dropped, yeah. you know, stuff like this. And yeah, this is really interesting. Will Affinity decide to buy here? Because, of course, you can do the one eco and then buy AKs and nades round after, but you never want the siege to get a lot of money on a siege on those two. So it's a really hard decision to make. And they, they're going for the, like, almost full eco. I would say it's always a full eco when you don't buy any, any Kevlar. Oh, and they're going with the forward smoke. Oh, I just actually smoke for the doors. They're actually thinking they're going to get a plant straight away here, but bugly has got other ideas with that pistol out. The P2K takes down one extra player for the third frag of the round. And it's going to be now uh, Fox with the plants. So, wow, actually it's going to pan out here for them. Two kills, a bomb plant. That is really nice. Yeah, this is huge if they win the next round. This round can be like map deciding actually. Jason's in the worst position ever <laughs> after not being able to uh, kill the guy in the tunnel and defuse comes in. And indeed, they're super happy here. They're so, so ecstatic. Then, especially considering Affinity went for the full out, the YOLO strat, usually that should be in like, you lose at most one player, but uh, yeah, losing two players, getting the bomb down, not looking good for Liquid right now. Yeah, it feels like Affinity have a lot of momentum at the moment, and when you see like star kind of individual performances like that 4K from Jason in a spot this hard, you have to like you have to kill those two players on short instantly, then swing around get the extra kills. That is so so cool, and that lifts the spirits of the team. But we're gonna see Davy looking for an entry up here. They're gonna lose a man, Jason, in fact, as they do make their way up to catwalk. But if Davy can pick up a frag here and keep that pressure up, we could force a rotation and uh, allow mid to be more easily taken. Yeah, and Affinity just playing the. It 
looks like they're playing a pug. They're just pushing everywhere at the same time, just trying to out-aim Liquid and... Uh, it worked as CT. It's gonna be interesting to see if it works now as T. It is a good map for that kind of style, if, if, you, if that's what your specialty is. Yeah, it depends. Like, if the CT has a really strong AWPer, you, you need to have some set strats to stop him. Okay, well we have uh, Nitro really low, Dren also tagged down to half health. And they are almost on the A bomb site. They got a player, in fact, on that bomb site indeed. And Arya's looking for anybody coming from long. This is a really good position to have an AWPer, but the problem is the bomb is so yeah. far away. This is really weird right now. And Liquid, they have four players cutting off the position of the bomber. What do you do here? What does Fox do right now? He's going to try to actually just kill all of them. So that, that's one way to try to do it, but it feels like maybe you're looking at a fake situation there. But Arya's going to come in from the back, takes down Flowsick, but the uh, refrag is there. So what a weird situation. I have no idea what like, the thought of that drone was for the Infinity. They left the bomb towards Upper Dark, so... They must have had like B in mind, like we're we gonna do a B split or something. But you always want to keep the bomb towards the mid doors because you can always change your mind then. Like yeah. you can instantly run up short, you can instantly go out mid. It's yeah, exactly as we can see here. Like never leave the bomb there and outside of B holes, and you can see why that's a really bad idea. And they're gonna go for that fast play into B again, but it's not gonna work out very well this time. Everyone's gonna die. So much better hold from Liquid. And yeah, it feels like. Uh, this is one of those spots where Affinity have uh, created loads of cool opportunities or it's just worked out that somehow Liquid have not been in the right place or maybe Liquid ha made the, the right mistakes for Affinity, but we're not seeing the full punishes here from Affinity just yet. Because um, right now we've got Liquid regaining control of the economy, another fast push here from Affinity to take long. How's, how are they going to play this one out? Davey going to wrap straight around the smoke. He's going to find the side of Elise. He was not even looking. And Davey gets the spray down on Flosik as well. Two frags found at long. And Affinity should be able to take this round at this point. Have a fast approach onto the A site. Is this a spot where Liquid need to save? They should just try to go for the Exus. I don't know how good their economy is right now. But uh, yeah, they should definitely just go for the Exus. They should not try to win this. They should just fall back now. Oh my, thank you, they are uh, ugly. So they are going to get naded in. Three players trying to make make it up this choke point through all the nades is definitely very, very hard. Still with, the, uh, and this is killing a lot of time. These nades are so, so effective right now. But we'll see the counter grenades coming in from the CTs as they go for the retake, smoking off the site. Another sick entry coming in from Fugly, trying to make his way in. But these angles are so, like, so, so strong for Affinity with five players and all the nades. That is, that didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. And just just imagine if they just would have gone for the exits. They kind of like set up a plan how they would like take long as the bomb was going up or something. And uh, they might have actually been able to kill all three of them or all five of them, sorry. And uh, if they wanted to win this round, then it would have been a lot better for them. So three or five retake, not the best idea. Okay, so we're gonna have a fast play into B once again, and Affinity with a lot of these uh, very fast strats. They're gonna pay off. Liquid's economy is a little bit. Uh, off kilter now after that previous round. They lost a lot of investment, but Nitro is coming out with some great kills. But in comes Davey, in comes Arya, and now it's down to Elysian and Adren on the retake again. But the bomb does have to go down still. But uh, we are going to get all the frags. Adren will get a cheeky little one onto Arya with the grenade at the end. But we can see Liquid's economy really poorly off after that, so that re retake attempts. And Affinity starting to take control of the money late into the, into the, map, into the map. Yeah, winning those two rounds in a row broke. Liquid Spank, so I think it's definitely back in the driving seat now. Okay, so... Gonna go for a fast B play again. Hey, <laughs> it works once or twice. Well, it didn't work every time, but it's, it's been, it's, it has worked. Then why not do it again? It can actually be quite cool as an unexpected anti-eco strat, I guess. If if you think that the team is, is predicting that, okay, every time they've gone long, like the standard, Eco, we're going to stack long. I guess that situation, you're really mind gaming the opposition. But hey, at least it's going to steal away an AWP. So that's something, right? It's another kill as well. I saw you just kind of shaking your head, by the way, when I was saying like the mind games thing. Obviously, it doesn't really apply yeah, to yeah. this level of team, but. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. What it's like something like Fnatic and, and, and uh, TSM would, would be doing or something like that. Like. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I can understand what you mean because uh, the CTs usually like. 
you, you know the cheese is going to play like a standard anti eco yeah. and they will like try to anti strat that yeah, yeah so in that sense it could be good to just go for the b straight b rush yeah cause because your expectations are much more set with those th exactly yeah, yeah. like sometimes it's better to do maybe not the smartest thing but it's so unexpected yes it's yeah, yeah yeah I think for Liquid and Affinity, it's hard for them to read each other at the moment. And at least you can go with a nice aggression. There's a nice frag. Davey goes down as well. Great, great little aggression indeed on Cat. They can fall back onto the advantage. Now they can wait for Affinity to make that desperation move. And what are they going to go for here? Fox trying to entry by himself over towards B. So again, this is another spot where you know you find yourself in, in this position. Maybe your pick attempt failed or uh, an aggression like that really rewards the CTs. How do you save this as, as a T side? It's a really awkward position. Usually you just want to try to go for picks, so you at least want to kill two or three CTs, and already getting the first one is a good start. So I have to see what they're going to go for here. It's like quite actually quite cool, because Arya's managed to push his way all up all up long here. It's, it's looking quite free at the moment, this A-bomb site. He spotted all of it with that position, and oh dear, Liquid's going to be caught sort of on the rotation with a quick frag from Arya, and it's at least straight up there. He knows he has to get in quickly, but Abe putting in the damage as well now so this is looking quite difficult but Fugly comes in two fast frags so critical now Arya has to deliver with that AWP but that plan is good for him up on the uh, the platform there and this is the shot good little shoulder peek there to bait out that, that shot he's going to go for the kill needs to actually create the distraction oh the shot's missed Nitro will not let that stand and he's going to take the uh, help his, his team take the round as the defuse comes in from Fugly. Fugly is this guy. He's like so reliable on retakes. Uh, we saw this from him, you know, on land as well, from mo across multiple lands. Fugly can just really stand out in spots where the team is like really like it's one of those spots where you you, sh you should never really win. But Fugly finds like these really calm entries and just plans his way on the retake. It, you can see him working methodically and uh, never really losing his composure in those spots. So such a valuable player for Liquid in that in that sense, I think. And must win round one for Liquid. Oh, oh, so nice. Absolutely destroyed there by Adren. Beautiful stuff there. Absolutely stellar. Or play. It's going to be uh, Fox with a kill and for these. We see the cat push. It feels like uh, they're trying to push their luck a little bit then. It's going to be punished here by Affinity. Maybe Adren looking for another flick, but he's not going to find it this time. Three on three now. So very quickly, it's one back into, into a potential situation where Affinity could find advantage. Yeah, Affinity is playing passive now. If they can realize there's no one along, they have a really good opening to just push up to the A side. Yeah, so again, previous previous round it was a 3 on 5 and they managed to uh, create a strong situation by taking long. And we've seen that Liquid haven't put a lot of players towards long in, in many of the rounds. Uh, Affinity, I think, were playing a similar style on the CT side. We saw that cat push. so. That's kind of a nice, uh, nice call to go on. Hey, you know, the, you know, they had two or three players, you know, pushing around cat in middle. Maybe this long will be open. They actually find that opening on long. That secures the bomb plant for them. So another retake is required. But uh, Adren's alive. Nitro and Fugly all still alive. But uh, plant for sh uh, plant for long, and they don't have an AWP, so it might be a little bit hard to work with. But Nitro's going to spot at least one of the players now. Adren needs to be able to hit these shots. He's already delivered two amazing frags. Gets the third one. Here comes the fourth player. Abe is going to take down Adren, and uh, Fugly is <laughs> actually just faking in the middle of the <laughs> firefight. Not going to really help him out there, and it's going to be Affinity with another round. So. Things looking very, very dicey at the moment for Liquid. Their money is very poor, and uh, they're going to have to go for an eco. Yeah, and we've seen this like off this game. Liquid make a good opening. Adren with two great kills there uh, in the middle with the op, and then they want to go aggressive mid after that. They should just try to fall back and play the numbers. So, good opening from Liquid, but bad late round decisions, and also a really great round from uh, Fox as well. Okay, so we have uh, a couple players on Catwalk, and again, we have a CT just lurking around. Oh, that's actually a beautiful jump by Nitro. Not having to go all the way around the Xbox and just uh, quickly getting up there. Almost got a frag from it, too. All in a similar position. Oh, we're going to tap down one and flow sick with the finish on Jason. So they have actually created a spot where some guns are actually up for grabs right now. So that will help out massively. Do they save these guns or do they go for this retake? That's uh, okay. Well, Adren's going to get uh, eliminated. Nice shot by Arya. Uh, Fox will take down Fugly. So it looks like they were trying to set up for, for exits there. Flosik might be able to save his AK though. And the situation is just looking really dire for, um, for Liquid right now. 
I mean, they can buy in the next round, but I'm not even sure they can buy an AWP. If they do, they have to go for the glass cannon AWP with, without Kellar. Yeah, it, I'm surprised they couldn't get the, the uh, save attempts on two of the rifles there. It felt like they just kind of were running into, into spots which were like fairly open instead of sticking to safer safer areas trying to keep the, the rifles alive. But uh, they are going to have the buy regardless. Now, one AK saved, so that means that's uh, a lot more cash on the player who saved it. Affinity though, they're two rounds away from taking this one, looking for that cross shot again. And there's no op to challenge them, so you can see them going down mid with a very fast timing. This is really smart by Affinity, they're like, hey, we know that there's no op to really spot this, or really punish this. And look how fast Davey is straight onto the side, looking for the pick, gets the long range, spray down, Leash is going to hit the ground right now as we have more players from Affinity making their way up, but great grenades, absolutely perfect. Allows the Dren to pick up two nice frags, and Avi's going to join the party. Oh, <laughs> absolutely amazing. That is gutting there for Liquid. Getting caught in the side by Abe. Perfect timing indeed from Long, but uh, Nitro. And has the bomb on short now. Actually, it's going to be hard for them to pick this one up, isn't it? It's got, we've got Fox here with 17 HP now as Arya goes down. So you don't like his odds here. Nitro at CT. And uh, Fugly actually down by the Xbox, it would seem. I wonder if he's just going to try to grab an AWP. If there is an AWP. I hope it's on short, actually. Yeah, I think Arya had the op. Yeah, I think it's on uh, on short here somewhere. Now this is really hard spots. So yeah, what do you do? Is this? this is impossible. He's got 30 seconds to grab the bomb and try to make a plan attempt as well. And yeah. if he gets the bomb down, he has made the best out of a impossible situation. He's actually oh. looking like he might be able to get this. Is there any? There's no HEs or, or Molotovs or incendiaries or anything like that. So he's going to get the bomb down and he's got actually a headshot position. So he could actually... That's scary right there. That, that position, you can easily frag multiple players with an AK. So Liquid will reclaim the rounds. And uh, that's so scary because one of the players uh, had the rifle out and one was like, holding a, a flash. So from that position, I swear I've, I've run into this retake position. Like, ah, it's okay, we'll just run up and kill him. Then just pops both of you in the head and... Yeah, that it's the same with on cash, on B, you have that position where you can side, you can only see the head as well. It's just so powerful to yeah. stand there if you have like 5 HP or something. Indeed, we've got Liquid going for the full buy now though. We've got the uh, AWP on a Dren. So, maybe you can work that orb magic on middle. He already has some crazy success there. We're gonna push on Catwalk again, Liquid. We actually saw a lot of cat pushes. I remember watching them on LAN actually, really favoring the cat pushes when they were down on the economy. And we see it paying off here. They're going to pick up a fast frag. It's now Affinity that have to uh, be in that desperate spot where they're going to try to get an advantage back. Actually, going to spot all the nades going over now. He's going to make the call as well. This is a really hard spot, especially now that everyone knows these angles on the boxes from CT very well. To shoot over the smoke. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The standard jumping, and you can hear the jumping as well. This is uh, this is all on the uh, B players here. If they can hold, oh, the spray down from Fugly is good, and the trend will not falter as well. Arya going to be uh, challenged for close range, but it's going to be Flo who picks up the kill. So really nice round by Liquid actually. Um, we had a really good defense from Fugly and from a trend on the B bomb site, and that's that's what really saved them there. Affinity, they are they have no money now, so th we actually could see there is overtime potential in this match right now. Yeah, and what went wrong there for Affinity? They went out mid and went in for a B split, and you never want to get stuck outside the double doors. You get flashed there. You always want to stand in that particular area as short of a time period as you can. Just want to rush up to B straight away, and uh, Liquid just handled that perfectly. Yeah, we just have the anti eco going on now as well. So Nades coming in. Frags. Liquid's uh, looking pretty strong. No, just, just one guy dead so far. So if they can keep it just one death, it's fine. Always be nice to keep the economy up here. And at least we'll deal the, uh, the final blow to Davey in that round. So 14-14, Liquid coming back in this one. And I really feel like if, you know, this is a similar match to uh, yesterday that Liquid played, where it's, it's one of those spots where, because uh, they played, uh, I don't think it was last two first map on Elevate uh, versus Elevate as well. It's a really close game. Elevate played really, really well. And Liquid just about squeezed out the, the W with a 16-14. Then it got to train. And Liquid really had so much more knowledge and, and preparation. And that's really how they you know managed to shine over Elevate in that spot. Yeah, I, I guess the same thing could be said uh, about Overpass then. I th I yeah, yeah. That's, that's my presumption. I think that's, that's what could happen. So it, it, it's so important for Affinity to get this, uh, get their map won.
they really need to to make sure that the overpass is there's not no pressure on on a loss on overpass. This liquid definitely going to be strong there. Um, Cash is the decider as well in this series. If you're just joining us, this is the HTC Reborn Invitational, and this is the first semi-final of the day. Okay, so we do have a pretty slow round here, especially as Affinity have shown a really, really strong um, predisposition to go for those fast rounds. They do like to have those fast entries, and it's going to be Flosik against a multitude of players here. They're going to flash him out. Arya's closing the distance. It's going to be the frag, but the trade comes in from Adren. He's got to back away here, so he's covering his retreat as he falls away. And they don't have any um, any extra defense here to help him out immediately. He's going to look for the shot there, just pre-firing onto the platform. Nobody there, though, and in comes Alish. Now he's got some support. Alish going to just finish off the player he tagged, and Adren is locking it down. Just box left over, and Adren is going to secure the round for his team with three excellent orb kills. Very important to hit those ones as they are unable to gain any grounds from on long. Yeah, I think the score was actually 14-11 in favor of Affinity, and I was 15-14 mm. to Liquid. So either the pressure got to Affinity or Liquid just had a chat and realized what they had to do to stop them. Absolutely, and this buy from Affinity, you would expect like to have the Wallace most play or something to, to, to go with when a, you have a buy like this, because you've got to close the distance with a Tech-9 somehow, and this is what the nades are for, right? So how are they going to use these nades? This is what, that's what my question is. Yeah, like seeing how they play this half, uh, I don't think they actually like have a set wall of smokes. Mm. I think they should have uh, would have used it by now then. So it's going to be really, really tough now, because they're just trying to go for the aim jewels, and that's not going to work with the Tech-9s. In theory, at least, it should not go so well. But Nitro is standing really close to the door, although Adren is kind of uh, baiting for him. So if they try to rush Adren, Nitro is going to have a field day with that AK. They really, really want that to happen. Nitro is so ready for this. And it makes sense. That, oh, I think Jason was kind of in a good range to go for the pop flash there. I don't know if he has a flash, but great shot there. Jason doesn't matter anymore. He's dead, thanks to Adren. And Elijah is looking for this frag. Today. There it is. He'll find that as well very easily. Spray coming in from Nitro. He spotted. He's going to get the nice angle with that spray down through the gap in the double doors. And in comes Elijah. He knows it's go time. And it should be an easy kill. It finds Davy. It's just going to be Arya left. So it looks like Liquid going to be flawless in this round. So far, unless Arya comes out with something pretty special. And here he goes from, uh, from B. And Fugly will deliver the frag. So really strong round there from Liquid, 16 to 14. Definitely feel like, definitely feel like uh, Liquid are a stronger team on this map from what we saw. We had a lot of crazy retakes. Just the individual uh, skill from, from Affinity is really scary. Super scary because I feel like Liquid probably were, were probably put in a lot of spots where like, holy crap, what just happened right now? Because they just delivered all these crazy shots. Now we're in a really bad spot all of a sudden. Yeah, that basically sums up the game. And I feel like Liquid made a lot of mistakes early in the game. And they seemed to struggle a bit as CT. But in the end, they like managed to just play the regular game. Because there were so many rounds, as especially ST, which yeah. they should have won. And especially that, that one oh, special the, the round. Ninja, the Ninja DCs, <laughs> yeah. wow. I'm sure a lot of people will be talking about that that ninja defuse for a while. That definitely sucked for Liquid, but I'm really happy for them that they managed to actually close it out because, of course, you know that looked like a really, really kind of one of those like really tough games, really awkward games. But they managed to win in the end. But Affinity, I'm very curious what they have to bring into this next map. We've got Overpass coming up, guys. Second map of this best of three here. So we will take a quick break whilst we set that one up, and we shall see you very soon.